So you think that you know everything that there is to know about Brawl Stars. Well, let's put that to the test. Here are some facts that you probably didn't know, and if you say you knew them all, you're lying. So we all know and love Bruce, Nita's bear, but do you know where he got his name? It actually came from one of the developers. His dog's name was Bruce, and it just kind of made its way into lore. Now another thing that you also probably know is that Ed Mace is the voice actor for Mortis. What you didn't know is that in the animation Mortis' Mortuary, that's not Ed Mace. It's actually a different voice actor for Mortis. Oh, wait, Franklin! Do you not consider me a friend? Mortis the Magnificent, the true creature of the night. Now this next one comes directly from the Brawl Stars team, in fact from their data scientist. Shout out to you. According to that data, the brawler with the least amount of usage of the thumbs down pin is Barley. Would you like to guess who number one is? Well, if you guess Mortis, you're right. And if you guessed Edgar, well, he's actually number two which is not surprising at all. Now, it's commonly thought that Bo is Nita and Leon's father, but that's actually not true. According to the game developers, Bo's origins were actually never written in and is unclear of where he actually came from. But it is clear that Jesse is the daughter of Pam and that they both belong to the Junker Trio. Along with them is their robot, Nani. Now, Nani does have another mention on this list, but it's for less good reasons. And that's because she holds the record for the longest time that a brawler did not get a new skin. And this dry stretch lasted from November 2020 all the way to October 2022, which is almost two years. That is if we don't count the true silver and true gold skins, which let's be honest, we shouldn't. Now, back in beta, brawl boxes used to look very different than they do now. The normal brawl box looked more like a safe than an actual box, and the mega the box was just a bigger version of that brawl box and there were even special boxes for like epic and mythic brawlers and in those brawl boxes you could actually get duplicate brawlers now in exchange for a brawler that you already had you would get a currency called chips you could save up those chips and you could use them to purchase a specific brawler that you wanted and this is how i originally got spike oh the nostalgia of portrait mode and speaking of portrait mode, back in those days when Brawl Stars was in portrait, players playing on phone could actually see further in range than a tablet could, giving a big advantage to the long range brawlers. You could actually get sniped from a brawler that you never even saw. Now this changed in landscape when they added black bars to make the viewable area the same for all players regardless of your device. In the early days of Brawl Stars, you used to be able to double the contents of a box by watching an ad. Now, you could do this multiple times per day. This feature, however, proved not to be an effective form of monetization as they hoped it would be, and it was removed months later. Now many of the brawlers in Brawl Stars have very unique names that really mean something. Nita's name in the Native American Choctaw language means bear. And if Nita is indeed Choctaw Indian, then we're actually related because I am on the Choctaw roll. I, however, am only 164th Choctaw, which is like my little pinky. Now, speaking of Nita, in Brawl Stars Alpha, you could actually spawn multiple bears at once. In a stream with Chief Pat, Molt, and some others, OJ actually had three bears on the field at the same time. And in that same stream, Poco Super could actually destroy walls. Yeah. Talk about OP. Now, Brawl Stars, as we know it, is set in an amusement park called Star Park, but before that, it was a Wild West theme, and before that, the game was originally set in space. That space game was actually called Project Laser, and then it was changed to Slugfest in the Wild West theme, and then eventually, Brawl Stars. Now, this next one, I don't know why I've never noticed it before, but... I haven't. When you have the shield gear equipped, your health bar will have a light green bar going through it showing how much charge the shield has before you break into your normal health pool. Did you know that the Chinese version of Brawl Stars is quite a bit different than normal global Brawl Stars? Aside from the Chinese players only being able to play with players from their country, there's some other differences. Among those changes are guaranteed brawler drops, as well as you're on a limit to how many mega boxes you can buy per day. I don't think I could make it there. Some other differences include the showdown smoke being purple, no supercell ID, as well as in the shop you get Star Shelly for free, which is normally only available to players who signed up around global launch. And on top of that, there's no support for using creator codes in game. And speaking of creator codes, when you use a creator's code before purchasing anything, they receive 5% of the purchase price. So if you were to spend $1 in game and use code Lex, which you absolutely should, I would receive 5 cents. Did you know that Bell was actually a real 
real person? Belle Starr, yes with two R's, was an outlaw in the 1800s. And at one point she even had a husband named Sam. So that means that Sam and Belle are actually married. Kind of crazy. Now we all know that Jesse's turret's name is Scrappy and that Nita's bear's name is Bruce. But did you know that Penny's mortar has a name as well? That's Lenny. Now, it's not an official name, but it's very widely accepted in the community that Penny's Mortar's name is Lenny. Now, this next one I have actually never noticed, probably because I'm a dirty gymmer. If the power level upgrade bar on a brawler is flashing, that means that you can afford the upgrade that is ready. Now, if it isn't flashing, that means you don't have enough coins and you probably spent them on true silver skins. Come on now. Did you know that El Primo's name actually means the cousin and that El Primo was actually in Clash of Clans a few years ago? Brawl Stars and Clash of Clans came together and in game there was El Primo in Clash of Clans, but he had the mask of El Primo, but underneath, yeah, didn't quite look the same. However, there was a fun obstacle that spawned during this time as well that left kind of like a spike cactus that you could save on the side of your base. Very cool. Every time that Daryl has been redesigned, he has actually gained fingers. It's kind of creepy, but it's true. And speaking of Daryl, in his current model, he has a dagger stuck in the back of his barrel from Crow. Now, his early models, it wasn't there, so it looks like Crow finally caught up to him. Now, back in 2019, during the Moon Festival, the showdown boxes were actually like a little present, and if you opened up that present, inside, a power cube was waiting for you that looked like a moon. Did you know that Brock was originally supposed to be a girl? In fact, in the game files, to this day, Brock is still referred to as Rocket Girl. Did you know that you can actually skip the tutorial in Brawl Stars? That's right, if you wait around for 13 minutes and 14 seconds, you'll beat it. This is because the game has an internal timer never letting any game mode last longer than 13 minutes and 14 seconds. Now, speaking of the tutorial, around the big boss, there are some TNT boxes. Now, those TNT boxes used to be in Heist back in beta. Now, it was only a few maps that those boxes existed, and the opposing team would need to blow up that TNT to get through a wall and access to the safe. And it was actually a pretty decent strategy to delay that other team from blowing up that TNT box as long as possible. Back in beta, there used to be a trophy limit of 8,000 trophies. If you reached 500 trophies on a brawler, which by the way was quite an achievement back then because it was really hard to get to 500 trophies because of the way the system worked. But once you did, that was it. You could not get any more trophies. Do this with all of your brawlers and you would beat the game. Now, I don't know what happened but our boy Squeak in his ghost skin, he got cross-eyed somehow because when he first was released, his eyes were in the middle and now he's like staring right at his nose. So sorry about that, Squeak. And our final Brawl Stars fact of the day is that if you subscribe to this channel and like it, you instantly get like seven legendaries. All right, so that one may not be true. But still do it anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how many you knew in the comments down below. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.